On this episode of The Game Chasers. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Jake, Jake, no. not let that Let's see if there's going. another one in here. The guys visit a retro gaming mecca. There's NES games in here. I don't know what's in here. That one? Yes. Hey, what was that? With buried treasure everywhere. I went up and he said, hey, look what I got. They got games everywhere. Will they dig up gold? Can you two please stop touching my hands? Y'all are nasty and sweaty. Or will Canada leave them dry? I think it may be a little too expensive. You know this one's like 75, 80 bucks. My back hurts, y'all. Dude, that's not cool. That's mine. So the convention's over, but we're not done game chasing yet. We're headed to a game store that's supposed to be the biggest in the area. We've heard a lot about this place. We are definitely intrigued and I mean, it's a no brainer. We're heading to ANC Games. Jason for three kilobytes actually works here and he's the one that said we needed to come check it out. I see about 75,000 things that I need in here. Two things I noticed right away. One, it's not that big. Two, they got games everywhere. There's even more than this, but I think we kept it in this sort of, uh, this style. I am bum rushed with nothing but games. Actually, you guys want to meet Gar, the owner? What's up, Gar? <laughs> What's up, man? This place has a ton of rare games, a ton of stuff. Uh, that I've never seen. One of those things is a panic restaurant. I want panic restaurant about as much as Little Samson, if not more. Everybody's got Samson. I'm getting the hell over that game. You know what? I'm never gonna get it. Screw it. Okay. But I'm gonna get panic restaurant. Nobody else has it except stupid Pat. The Lost Level. Signed by, I think. Signed by Greg. Habich. Yeah. After the show, we've seen him in his boxers. The great thing is they have a bunch of inventory that they haven't gone through yet. It's just sitting in buckets. So we get to dive right in. So all know, of this, all of this stuff was literally traded in probably today. So this is like stuff that we haven't even looked at. Nineteen forty-three. <laughs> Game I licked the nipple. Hey. There's tubs and tubs just everywhere. I'm dick deep in games. I'm digging. <laughs> dick deep. I see a stupid Eric's arm just reach right in, pull something out from under me. Hey, what was that? Mighty Eric, Final hey, no, Final. what was that, Eric? Mighty Final Fight. Let me see it. Right. Nah, dude, I'll show it to you after I uh, look into it. Tonight is the day of reckoning. Welcome. To the Thunderdome, bitch! If only I could pry it from his stupid hands. This is not the game you're looking for, Eric. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought that was Sculptors again. <laughs> hey, in all seriousness, let me see that. Billy, <laughs> I learned my lesson in Dude, Roswell, it's... New Mexico. All right. I have it, so can I see it? I own the game. You're his fucking goon. Scott needs to back the hell off. He needs to turn down the New Yorker. I'm not in the mood for anything today. Oops, I get that. So this is like overstock from what is on the floor. So there's, everything's here. Oh, really? Hey. Oh, this is sweet. Eric no longer has anything to hold over my head. I've found Mighty Final Fight. I don't think I like that too much. I wanna find Mighty Final Fight. Very uncommon, if not rare. And a lot of people dog this game, and I think that's because they compare it to the 16-bit beat-em-ups that were so great. But Mighty Final Fight really holds its own on the NES.
I would really love to own it, but that'll all depend on price, so it's gonna go in my maybe pile. I'll Welcome. take that. Oh! <laughs> Did you find another one? Jay, please. Right. I'm going through these boxes, and I find a Battletoads Double Dragon. Battletoads Double Dragon. Don't do it. Mm. Oh, too bad. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Jay, don't do not let that Let's go. Let's see if there's another one in here. Just don't know, Eric. Jay, do not let it go. Now, Eric's going to be like, it's not slipping, not slipping. I think it's slipping. I think I got. I think Eric got caught slipping again. That's what I think. Dude, I almost freaking caught. Well, I guess I no. You're not you slipping anymore since you found it. <laughs> Even when you think you do, you yeah, go. I got this, dude. All I get is freaking slipping comments. I'm tired of it. Jay, you're son of a bitch, bro. Why am I a son of a bitch? Do not let that There go. will be a Battletoads <laughs> Double Dragon in here. The last time I had this game in my hand, I literally had it for five seconds. And Billy told me to go ahead and not get it because the label didn't look good. It was a little messed up. I didn't say it was fixable, though. Bottom line, you were just like, you don't want that game. Look at the label. Ah, the label's effed up. Yeah. That sticker on that label could have easily came off with Goo God. Eric, are you a dumbass or something? This is not gonna happen. I'm not taking that sh anymore. Today's the last stand. <laughs> this is my Battletoads Double Dragon. I say he's just weak minded. <laughs> is this your stack, Jake? It is. Okay, good. I'm just making sure Eric doesn't smash. Well, he ain't gonna take it. I'm not it. gonna steal his game. He ain't gonna take it. This place has so many rare games, like, there's just. They're just in, in boxes. I'm in hog heaven right now. Hang on a second, I'm looking at these yeah. Turbo Graphics 16 games. Did I hear Turbo Graphics? I pull out Deep Blue on Turbo Graphics. Um, I don't know much about the game other than it's a shooter. And I love shooters and I love the Turbo Graphics. So I think I'm going to get this and put it in my maybe pile. Do you think there's a lot of games waiting to take you boys downstairs? Really? Oh, yeah. What do you mean downstairs? There's something down there for you. It sounds so dirty. I know. Little did I know they had the whole monkey building next door. Tubs and tubs and shelves and shelves of fucking games galore. All right, one Let's second. Go. You're still, you're still on that. You Just didn't catch. Me I slipping. had a temporary victory you for a minute. You didn't catch me slipping on that for a small victory. This is like Game Room Trading Post, except instead of an upstairs, there's a downstairs. All right, first things first, main room on the right. So I know I said this place was small uh, when I walked in. However, I didn't know they had a whole building next door uh, with a basement in it. Uh, don't go in there yet. <laughs> All right, so where, what areas and crevices should we yep. penetrate? Let me show you the library. Penetrate. There's everything in this room, so. I mean, you open a box and there's just random there's just things. Stuff. As if there was not enough games up above, there's like 10 times this amount down below. Well, what's up with the arcade room? That's where you just were, right? Yeah. The lights keep going out. We think it's haunted. Oh, shit. All this stuff, like tons of stuff has been traded in and not sorted yet. It's yeah. In there. So, so why are we in here? In there. I just wanted to show you this. Oh, okay. Well, it's all cool and all, but we like to do. All right, fine. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. If I had another Battletoads Double Dragon, Billy, could you pull it out for me, please? Well, Did Jay get that other one? He grabbed it. <laughs> That's not slipping. How is it not? It's not. We're all both looking through the same box. No, I wasn't. I went up and he said, hey, look what I got. It doesn't matter. You should have been at the box first. Hey, I had a momentarily slipping a Billy. Let's see what's down here. More bookage. I think I have that one. I don't even think they know what they have, honestly. You want a piece? Mm -mm. You sure? Mm -hmm. Might be something that you want. Yeah. These guys are gracious enough to let us go invade their space and dig through every single tub. And it's awesome. You want to see the secret stash? Yes. yes. Take, just take me a billion. Secret stash. 
So this side on the right. Watch your step. These are bins that we haven't even went through. We got lights? No. No. We're gonna have to take them out of here and put them in that room. All right. Well, this one has NES games. So these are the places I love. We can just dig for buried treasure. Excuse me, guys. Nice job. I was helping you out, man. Excuse me, guys. I was gonna grab it. You were gonna grab it. Nice. Master Two and the Drunkard Hue. Uh, I don't have this game. I need it. It's unlicensed. It is uh, Color Dreams. Um, you know, they did stuff like Captain Comic, um, a couple of other games. We're going to put this one in my maybe pile. I don't usually do maybe piles, but this is maybe piles depending on price. I, I have to keep in mind that I am in a store, so I'm not going to get everything for two bucks. Nice. I don't think so, dude. You don't even have it. So what? Look at him. Oh, yeah. I want, I want to hear you freaking whine. You grovel, please. I don't care. I have that game anyway. Boxed? Lying. He's waiting for me to put it down. I don't Because he knows I don't want Here. it. He doesn't even have a Vetrix. I have a Vetrix. I don't Here, care about the box. Here, Billy. There we go. Well, that's just rude. It's, it's never ending. It's like heaven. You know, I almost peed my pants because there's a stack of turbo graphics schemes just chilling in this box. However, I have all of them. Except Military Madness, but I don't want that one. Who wants a stupid strategy game? Hey, Scott. You might want to look through this. What's that? You should probably look through that. See, I knew they were going to find those bars, those bins. <laughs> hey, Billy Boy, swarm you. Stay there, MC. Don't start fire. Yeah. It's got things in it. And uh, things and stuff. Battle codes. Don't see anything out of me. Let me check to see if I have if it. You do, if you have that, can I have that? Yeah. 1985 Atari Corp. Man, this is just crazy old. And we're in Canada. This is from California. You know? I found Pugsley Scavenger Hurt, which is really getting really hard to find and getting kind of expensive. So I'm trying to get it now. And they missed it. They didn't know. So I caught them slipping. Look at them over there. They're over there trying to find one themselves. I don't like that I wasn't included. Grab those rubber bands. You're trying to get to that back wall, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on it. That's the way game chasing go. That's how Jay always does it. He gets to the back wall. Eric? I feel like I've jumped into a big vat of, of ice cream. And I'm swimming around, except it's games. And I'm swimming around going, ow, ow. Hey, are we putting Billy in the, the circle of trust? Are we? Are we putting Billy in the circle know. of trust? He's kind of shattered. Know something in time yeah, there's NES games in here. I don't know what's in here. That one? Yes. All, all right. right. Put it over here. Billy and the rest of the guys are are off like in another room. I mean, dude, there's like three or four rooms of just video games everywhere. Well, me and Eric formed a little circle of trust, um, and a little, a, a little alliance, if you will. I'm not fucking leaving until I get a fucking battle toads. And double dragon, so everybody can stop fing saying I got caught slipping. Hey, Eric, here. Billy, just wait. What? We got Tom's coming, dude. So, me, Billy, and Jay decided to finally stop screwing each other over. We're gonna make a circle of trust today. Okay, hey, Billy, hey, hey. Circle of trust. This is circle what we've been of trust. Doing. We look in this one. One tub at a time. Here. Let's pull we it out. We take it out there and we distract everybody. This all sports, man. You guys are so conniving. Dude. No one else with stupid Scott is, is looking at. Dude, that's not cool. That's mine. Nice right, sports games. Why would you take that? It's our distraction box. Yeah. So wait, you've had this planned out the whole time? Shh. Just, Just for stupid us. Scott. Wait, we gotta wait on Eric on this one. Well, y'all got me a couple times with this, didn't you? No, we pulled the boxers right out. Hey, no, you that, just weren't here. Hey, that first one was Scott. No, I knew something was up. Cause you sat it down and go, Scott. Hey, look at this. You don't do that. You don't do that. I knew something was up immediately. All right. Maybe you got me. Hmm. Circle of trust. I'll put that in my pile. I have it. Another game I'm seeing here that I think I got to have is Young Indiana Jones. We're going to put this one in my maybe pile. Eric, get away from my... Oh, that's a look through. Jeez. <laughs> Excuse guy. me, guys. Jeez. Piranhas. Bunch of sandwiches. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Look at Jesus. Let's take it. Let's take the tub out. Let's take it out. 
Me and Jay take yeah, it. Yeah, you move. Go. You're fucking uh, king, king Shaft. Hell yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> king Shaft. Hold on. Ooh, let me see. You can have those. They're not. Eric is so, like, definitely to catch somebody slipping. There he is. The thing is, is he's going so crazy that you already had that. Can you two please stop touching my hands? Y'all are nasty and sweaty. Oh. God, you stink. I'm a little worried about my maybe pile here. Um, I think it may be a little too expensive. My back hurts, y'all. Because you were digging like rats for like hours. It's the way game chasing go, dude. This, this was awesome. Really cool. Like we haven't had a, because it is cool. <laughs> we haven't been able to dig like this in a long time. I'm looking over the Super Nintendo games, and boom, Space Mega Force. Space Mega Force is a shooter on the Super Nintendo, and. So you want to head upstairs? Why are you trying to get us out of here? It's kind of hot. Yeah, down we here, can do so that. That's fine. Because we need to see what the damage is going to be. So we got all our stuff together here. I think instead of trying to do Billy's pile, my pile, we're going to put everything together and just have a pile. It's all from unsorted inventory. There's no price stickers. I have no idea what they're going to be charging for this. What do you think in this, ways, like, by itself? Because like, uh, I, I don't know the value of Vetrix games, so I just pulled it off. Remember average, they were 20 to 30, like, for when we had games, they were yeah. around and we had, I think we had that up here before. Okay, we'll put this yeah. maybe. You know, it's all about negotiation at this point because every one of these games we've got have just been sitting in boxes for however long and they haven't been able to go through them and price them yet. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm really feeling these, this other stuff, I'm, I don't know about, I don't know which of those is yours though. Mm, out of my stack, I really, nah, I'm about those, I like those, I like these. I can't live without them. Alright, so are you guys paying separately? No, we're gonna do this together. Together? Yeah. It's usually the best way to get the best deal on things is just everything, boom, all at once. So Space Megaforce, which you found downstairs or yes. something. Yes, pretty uncommon. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a little while. Now, if they're willing to work with us on some of these prices, we'll be spending a lot more money. Do you guys have like a value in mind, actually? This? Of everything? Um, like you guys know your prices. Can we take a huddle here? Yeah, you can take, Let's a, take huddle. a huddle. Tell me what you think, all right? I want to ask you something real quick. What do you? <coughs> what do you top dollar on your stack? I, I know I don't want to go over two hundred dollars. That's just not even an option. So if we have to put stuff back, we'll have to put stuff back. Top dollar we can go on this, I think, is, is 175. Let's do five more, same thing, 75 for all. All right, is that fair? Yeah. Let's just try that. It is still a store. It's not going to be two dollars a game here. Like I said, we found these down there. There's no price on them. You know, if yeah. you obviously, if you come in here and they're ever priced, you're not going to do any haggling or anything like that, right? This is kind of nerve wracking. Would you be willing to do all this for 150? 150? 150. Let me look at this. I, I didn't get a good look at this yet. Okay. So you know this game's pretty good. Yep. We rarely see this game. I'm surprised we have this many games downstairs, actually, to tell you the truth. <laughs> you guys dug pretty deep. Well, so. you do have two more of those. I'll okay, you really? Yeah, yeah. do you have one in there? Um, <laughs> one in and the actually, case, there's one more. I have one right here, too. Yeah. So if that, <laughs> hey, so if that helps, mm -hmm. helps, uh, I guess helps so. our cars cost that, a little bit. That helps yeah. you a bit. Uh, so, what do you think? Should we? I need a second. Should we? That's, should we get a second um, here? Can we get a second? Yeah, you can get a second. That's, yeah. that's fair. Yeah, so you, you guys can get a second. On. Our initial offer was 150, which was fair, you know, because it could have been 15. This is hilarious. This is. I never knew it? it was like a fucking so, court drama. I mean, regularly these would be more, but because you know, I, I like you guys, I'd say around 180 is what I can do. What do you think, though? Let's just split the difference. Split what is difference. it? One sixty-five. The common strategy. Common strategy. All right. I think that's good, man. It works for me. All right. 
In all fairness, we helped uh, we helped clean the back area there. Yeah, that's true, actually. Or did we make it messy? Oh, there's more room back there now. I, I stacked the boxes a little better. I hope they're happy with that, because we are. I'm ecstatic. I mean, we we had we had a budget in our head of what we could spend, and they they hooked it up for us. Is what they did. They hooked it up for us. Look at how stressed he is. It's like I stole 3DS again. So one thing I decided to do was. I, I did find the Battletoads Double Dragon. I decided to give it to Eric because uh, I, I don't know. My heart's too big sometimes. I don't give a crap if anybody says that their freaking dying kid needs this copy today. I am buying it. You know this one's like 75, 80 bucks. <laughs> yeah. I so do. you knock that off there and. Uh, I hate that you're like, you're like a joker, but so serious at the same time. Like, I can just see the beads of sweat just forming on Eric's forehead right now. God damn it. Are we ready? I'm probably just gonna walk away with one. Gar. Oh, this ought to be good. Gar. Yeah, yeah. This, you, you this ready? Ought to be good. Here. For the next book. Here we go. Here we go. I'm approaching the counter and I already have a game plan down. What would Jay do? What are we going on this right now? Like, no, that game is over $200 easily, so. Yeah. Like, you, you know that, right? Yes. I'm making an offer. 300 for all that. For all this? Yes. And this? Yes. I immediately get rejected. That was just Whoa. my, out the window. Yeah. That was just my offer. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's good to, yeah, you can start good. somewhere. You can start somewhere. Yeah. So, now, here's the ones I really want. Okay. Those three. Those three are just what you really want. <laughs> yeah. So these are obviously premium titles, you know that. You know, don't tell me you're finally gonna get battle toads. Yeah, that's why I have these two right here because now I'm thinking of seeing what I can get for just these two. They're both really good games. And Shut up, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need you in New York in my you, you scene up. Talking about that game all weekend. Yeah, I have been talking about this game all weekend. Game. If anything, you get that game only. To say you never see that. Eric. This is intense. I've never negotiated for a game this bad in my life. I think I've had a lot of practice up this trip. Starting from game room trading post till now. What's the lowest you would go on this by itself? Because I know this game is rare. 150. Because I know this game is super rare and like I know a lot of people that will want this, so that makes it tough for you. Eric is really struggling with this. He obviously he wants this game. I'm thinking like Jay. I got the scumbag mentality going on. So I was thinking maybe 250. 250? Yeah. What about 200? 200. Oh man, that hurts. Uh, <laughs> this is pretty high for a game. I don't like to spend that much. 230, I think. I think that's 230. It kind of hurts though. Pretty good price on Panic Restaurant in, in a, a, a uh, uh, retail store. If I spend this much on one game, I can kiss in any games, not just on this trip, but anywhere goodbye for a long time. I really cannot afford it. Really? I don't you really can't. <laughs> no. But he thinks he wants to spend the money. What's it mean? You no might food not for a week? No food for a week? It's Panic Restaurant. You could just feed off that. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. It's a one-time offer, and no one else is going to get this offer, too. I guarantee it. Can I have a lifeline real quick? Oh, yeah. Sure. Lifeline? Sure. You need a huddle? <laughs> I think you should walk away from it. If you're trying to make a deal and you're struggling that hard with the deal, then you, you don't need it. My answer is tell me don't get that and see if I could get Battletoads and Mighty Final Fight. I mean, he's been going on and crying and crying and crying and crying about Battletoads Double Dragon. Now's his chance to finally get it. How much can you spend? That's an important question right now. I could do it, but it wouldn't be a smart thing to do. I think I'm going to try to get Battletoads, Double Dragon, and Mighty Final Fight bundled. That seems a little bit more realistic. And I'm not leaving without Battletoads, Double Dragon. I don't care what anybody says. This game's mine. Yeah, I can't get Panic Restaurant, dude. As so much as I want. You started 100, bring it to 120. You started 100, they're going to say 140, bring it to 120. All right. I'm not leaving this store without Battletoads, Double Dragon. All right, since I like you two guys, yeah, I'd rather have y'all get somebody to buy this and y'all profit off of it. You serious? Yeah, I don't want to shortchange y'all on this. Okay. That is very honorable. That's uh, fair enough. So I'm, I'm sure. going to walk away from that, but... Oh, here we go. 
It's gonna walk <laughs> tall. Would you do a hundred for both of these? Hmm. I think a hundred bucks for both of these games is more than reasonable. Well, I think my brother seems to have an idea here. I would say you did recognize this. I think you'd probably appreciate that and be able to do that for him. Okay. That was pretty yeah. honorable on his part too. Yeah, right? gonna do okay, we'll do this okay. for you yeah. since you did this for us. Yes. Right? Okay. Pinky swear. Pinky. Yes. <laughs> this is broken. How many pinky swears do you do? <laughs> Too many. This is broken. As you can see. So. I'll, I'll, I'll do a hundred for both of these. Okay. My moment of redemption has finally arrived. One less thing to bitch about. One less thing to read comments about. Battletoads Double Dragon is mine. And I got Mighty Final Fight. I want to make a good impression of Canada for mm. you guys. And I, I figured, you know, you just got that in and... You know, okay. You, wait a second, wait a second. What was that look? <laughs> I'm, I, I need Something to say goodbye, going sorry. on there. Guys, okay, say goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Chef, I'll run into it someday. I know I will. I'll take good care of it for now. So I guess I'm going home happy. It's a good feeling. And nobody took the stinking game from me this time. They're not going to. Can I have it? No, f you. You're a guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. All right, cool. We're gonna go head out. Okay. Right. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Right, Thanks for visiting. All right, actually. Check you later. Yeah. Later, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks very much, guys. Overall, ANC Games, I'm impressed. We picked up a nice little stash of, of, of games. I haven't been to a store that had this many rare to uncommon games ever. Man, it was nice meeting you, dude. Yeah, it nice really was. It's um, like America. Let's not make it a year before we see each other again. No, I'll be going to MagFest for sure. So after this long 36-hour trip, seeing UFOs, sleeping in basements with shadow people, <laughs> licking Keeb's nipple, it finally rewarded me in the end. I think I didn't get caught slipping for once. First of all, you bought Battletoads thinking that Jay was going to get his. No, I knew he wasn't. And didn't I actually go over and say, Jay, you know what, I'm just, yeah. Once I went to Jay and was like, Jay, f Eric, don't let him get it. And Jay was like, no, why would you be like that? And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. That's exactly how that happened, actually. Our exploits in Canada have come to an end, and it's time to make our way back to Texas. This road trip has been a win. It's been fun. Um, we saw UFOs. We got yelled at. <laughs> If we hadn't gotten hookups from people just showing the Canadian hospitality and I, I think trying to welcome us into their country, I, it would have been, we would have came back with anything pretty much. Definitely looking forward to the trip back. Now that I got some good scores, the rest of the way will be just mm, sweet victory and felonies. Oil up and hit the gym with me. Norm's a handsome dude. So I'm excited to get back. Fortunately, to get back also means another 36 hour drive with Billy and Jay and Eric and more chode jokes and more yo mama jokes and more game chaser jokes. You have felonies? Hey, I'm Mr. T. And I'm here to tell you that you need to subscribe to the Game Chasers. All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button down here. Yeah, I pity the fool that don't subscribe to the Game Chasers. Once again, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button right down here. All right, I'm Mr. T and I'm out of here. Well, see you later. I've been laughing all weekend. It's been great having their booth right beside us at uh, Com Bravo. And I have never seen anyone so committed to rummaging for that amount of time. And then even the banter that was going between Jay and Billy throughout that entire time, like, oh, I'm going to go get a head start on you. And then Jay's all like, well, I'm going to get what you didn't get. But obviously insert ruder things there. Uh, it was great. And then the haggling, it's so intense. I didn't think this part would be that interesting, but it really is.